I am Stephanie Lingi, and I am the Interim Artistic Director here at the Hippodrome. My name is Mara Williams. I am currently in A Doll's House Part 2 here at the Hippodrome playing the role of Emmy. Well, for me, colorblind casting mm -hmm. is making your casting decisions for your shows not based off of uh, color of skin, um, casting male female roles, casting women for male roles, things like that. and. Uh, still honoring the script throughout. It just recently started impacting my career. Uh, for a lot of times I've been doing shows that are, are strictly for women of color, um, black nativity, the color purple, things like that. And my real first experience of colorblind casting has been here at the Hippodrome. Oh, cool. um, doing uh, this show, uh, Emmy in Doll's House Part 2 and doing The Wolves, uh, playing number 13. Right. There's actually a, a new um, process that a lot of people are talking about called color conscious yep. casting, mm -hmm. which is something that I find really fascinating and I'm really excited to try and start doing, which is um, taking a, a show and then looking at those roles and thinking about, well, how does it add to the story? Mm -hmm. I think that a story is able to be told in a better way and maybe a new way, some way that people may not have thought of before and it really gets the people involved, it gets people really interested in what's going on on stage. And from the artistic side, theater is a collaboration and if you have people with a similar background all the same in the room, you're missing important voices, you're missing important takes on the story. Colorblind casting uh, has, has helped me work with uh, many people of different races and it's something that um, I have really found that I enjoyed more than I ever expected to, never thought about it, and that made me think about it. Mm -hmm. And that is what theater is great at. It makes us think about things and it gives us an opportunity to do that. As a community, the theater is having a really intense conversation about this. It's not just actors of color, it's gender, mm -hmm. it's it's transgender, it's 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 everything. It's how are we inclusive? And it's a fantastic conversation and an evolution that theater is going through right now. And I couldn't be more excited to have the Hippodrome be a part of that as well. And one big thing, they say that art holds up a mirror to life. And when you hold up a mirror to the United States in general, we are not just one race. We are uh, so many, we are colorful people as a, as a nation. So why not represent that on stage? We're just really excited to be a part of this conversation and to be having this conversation. And we're super excited to have Mara on our stage for a second time. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be part of the Hippodrome family. Mm-hmm. <laughs>